Welcome to Tutorial 2 Soft Buttons and Encoders. First of all, open Magic Q. Go to Start, Programs, and then Camsys Magic Q, Magic Q PC. Choose Lighting Demo. This will open Magic Q. We're going to use the inbuilt Magic Q Visualizer. Go to the Visualizer shortcut and select View Visualizer. This will open the Visualizer window. You can drag the window around or size it so that you can see both the main Magic Q application and the visualization at the same time. Now we're going to look at the uh, soft buttons and encoders. So, first of all, we're going to go to the group window and select some fixtures. Here we have some Spot 1200 fixtures. We've got four of them, which you can see from the four in the right hand corner. We're then going to locate them. This will turn them onto their default parameters, the intensity at 100%. So you can see in the visualizer they're now at 100%. We will now go and select some palettes. In the colour window, I'm going to select the yellow palette, and this will turn them yellow. The green palette, turn it green. You can see that when the title bar is blue, that means that the focus of all the buttons around the edge of the screen is on the colour window. For example, on the right hand side here, we've got the colour wheel control. On the left hand side, we've got cyan, magenta and yellow. I can click on the wheel and drag it up and down to change the value of the cyan. I can do the same thing with the button going between 0, 50 and 100%. I can also do the same thing for magenta and for yellow. So I'm going to go back to white. We'll now look at the position window. You click on a palette in the position window, for example up, and that will change the position of the lights. Because the, f the position window now has the focus, the soft buttons are now related to the position window. So the main controls are these pan and tilt. So if you t click on the wheel and drag it up or down, then you can change the tilt position. Or if I click on the pan, I can pan it from side to side. We will now go to the beam window and select a gobo. So these are the inbuilt gobo palettes. These spots have two gobo wheels, gobo 1 and gobo 2, and also rotation for both gobo 1 and for gobo 2. By clicking on the wheel and dragging up and down, you can choose the different gobos on the gobo wheel. You can also click on the soft button. If you click on the bottom, it steps to the next gobo. If you click on the top, then it will click to the previous gobo until you get back to open. You can do the same thing for gobo 2 clicking on the bottom to click to the next gobo and clicking on the top to go back to open. If you press and hold then you get a list of all the gobos that are available on that wheel so you can then select the one that you want. So we've selected a position, colour and beam for these spots. We can check the output by opening the output window via the OUT button. This shows us in detail the values for each of the attributes of the spots. So the intensity is at 100%, pan is at 128, 18, and tilt is at 185, and there is a colour as well. So this is a useful window for checking the output. For more info, please visit www dot camsis dot co dot uk